Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for September 29th to October 13th. For September 29th to October 3rd, we're forecasting an amplified flow here with an upper low here of the Aleutians, ridge here over the west, and a trough here would be in the east. This will bring a return of hot and dry conditions and, and um, an increased fire threat in the west. And would uh, temperatures would be far below normal, far above normal, exceeding 15 degrees in some places. The east will have temperatures uh, about um, maybe 15 degrees or more below normal. Now, um, we're going to take a look. This is the increased fire. This is the current fires that are going on across in the west we're going to take a look at a few of um, the worst ones this has um burned this is called the sqf complex castle and shotgun fire and this has been active for about a month and it burned 148,000 over 148,000 acres and um where, where else This is unnamed at this time. It started about a week ago, and this burned less than an acre. So this is a look at the current fire situation. Over here, this is the depart. This is the um, look at the aerosols from the fires, how they're traveling through the jet stream, and it's bringing it all the way to the east coast, and. what else um oh and here's the departure from normal for rainfalls this is you can see where all the rain has been falling here but um you can see we have some places in yellow this is like three degree uh three inches below normal or more like this is for the last month okay um also now um this pattern in the east We'll have um, several, we'll cause several frontal boundaries to cross the east central states and it'll be the focus for showers and thunderstorms. And we'll take a look at here in our models. There could be some locally heavy rain along the east coast, starting the period with this first front that moves through, and cold air aloft across parts of the Great Lakes and the Appalachians could cause a few instability rain showers and due to the slow mo the movement of the trough this could cause several frontal waves here comes another system bringing a cold front through and um the slow movement of the trough as i was saying could um cause the unsettled weather to linger along along the east coast okay we're going to look now at the period for october 4th to the 8th and the flow remains amplified we have our upper low here ridge in the west trough in the east so models a good agreement with this so for this forecast period i'm forecasting above normal temperatures for the west with anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees above normal below normal temperatures a forecast for the east from the mississippi valley to atlantic coast with anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees below normal for precipitation calling for Below normal precipitation from the Pacific coast into Ohio, Tennessee valleys. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. Take a look at the next period. This is before um, October 9th to the 13th. Most of the models here maintain the flow from the previous period. However, not as amplified as it is back here. They still have a ridge trough configuration and upper low whoops and an upper low over the Aleutians while the uh, European and its ensembles depict more of a, a zone of flow especially across the northern states with above with below normal heights over Canada and above normal heights across the southern US so I think the pattern will be still like this de-amplifying as it goes further on and this will be going by as 
This will occur as heights build across Eastern Asia. So for this forecast period, I'm forecasting above normal temperatures for the West. I'm forecasting anomalies of 48 degrees above normal, below normal temperatures of forecast here, with anomalies of four to six degrees below normal. For precipitation, little change is forecast in the precipitation anomalies from the previous period. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for September 29th through October 13th. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.